Hey everybody, welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. We are back in Tombstone. Finally! And we are here today for the Shiflin Festival. We're going to uh, walk around the town, see all the festivities, and show you one of the coolest places to stay in all of Tombstone. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. That, as you may recognize, is the world famous Birdcage Theater, one of the legendary old West Hotspots right here on Allen Street in Tombstone, Arizona. And you might not be aware of it, but if you want to, you can actually stay right across the street. This, my friends, is T. Miller's Tombstone Mercantile and Hotel, which is, in my opinion, probably the best place to stay if you're gonna stay in Tombstone. Let's check it out. The Mercantile is on the bottom floor and there are many great shops in Tombstone. I don't want to take anything away from them, but but this is your kind of one-stop shop for Tombstone. You can get all sorts of things here. But you can find it a bunch of other stores as well, but they've got some antiques and various trinkets. People like to buy these things. They have a great assortment of weapons, especially bladed weapons. They've got some nice knives here. some pocket knives. They've even got some butterfly knives over here, which I thought were illegal, but apparently not. Machetes, daggers, military style blades, very nice stuff. Not very expensive either. A lot of people like to dress up and go with a full nine. And this is a place where you can buy everything you need to do that. They've got an assortment of hats and boots all sorts of different styles. Men, women, doesn't matter. They've got it all. Some more hats, even more hats. And rows and rows of period authentic garb. You can pretty much find whatever you're looking for, whether you want to be a cowboy or a desperado or a, even a prostitute maybe, I don't know. Here's a cool jacket, 139 bucks. Not bad. You can dress up pretty nice if you'd like to. Not too expensive, vest 32 bucks, shirt 45. More hats, plenty of hats to choose from here. They've even got the old Davy Crockett style hat if you're into that. And of course, shot glasses. You can buy shot glasses just about everywhere in Tombstone. They also have some movie memorabilia here. Signed photographs from the movie. It's pretty cool. There's an assortment of jewelry. All different kinds of stuff here. You can even get yourself an old sheriff's badge if you want to go the whole full costume. You can do it here. They've got the badges. They've got the guns. You can get yourself a six-shooter, rifles, shotguns. These are not real weapons, but they look real. Belts, spurs. You can get yourself some shackles with some old-style keys. Yes. <laughs> this is also where you check into the hotel, right here at the uh, cash register. <laughs> but we picked up our keys, and to access the hotel, you just walk down the side of the building here. Walk around to the back, go up the staircase, and you end up in this little room here. Now you'll have two keys if you stay here. One will open the main door, which is right in front of us here, and the other one will open your room, whichever room you got. There are four rooms in this hotel. The first room is immediately to the left here. That is room number one. It'll peek out the window. Right here at the front, you find their guest book. Go ahead and sign that real quick. Perfect. Moving on. Now you come into the common area here. There's a little dining room area and the kitchen, of course. You've got a fridge, stove, microwave. 
pretty much everything you would need. Cups, of course. The cabinets have plates and glasses and all kinds of stuff. Couple sinks. And right here is kind of the main hangout area. There's one TV in the hotel. That's it right there. But let's go back to the madam's room. That is room number four. And that is where we're going to be staying tonight. And all the way back here at the end of the hall is room number four. This is the madam suite. This is typically where we stay when we stay at T. Miller's Hotel, but you have private balcony access. We'll check that out in a second. I really like the decor in here. It's got a very old-timey feel to it. Definitely a nice room. A lot of these old-timey hotels have really small bathrooms, but this is actually a decent-sized bathroom. It's pretty nice. And let's go check out the balcony, which is my favorite part of this whole place. T. Miller's Hotel, easily my favorite place to stay in Tombstone. And there's a few reasons for that. One, you already saw the room decor. It's very nice. It gives you a very Old West feel. Two, you have a balcony view of the Birdcage Theater right out your window. You can come out here and hang out all night if you want. And it's a pretty cool place to just come out here and chill, look at the people, especially as it starts to get dark. But you can't beat the location. This is the only place where you can actually stay on Allen Street. You can stay right here in the middle of all the old west history and people like us really like doing that so we are back again but this hotel like i said it's right on allen street very nice place to stay if you're into the history and uh because of that it edges out uh why it's hotel just a little bit i think this place has its own parking you're guaranteed a parking spot why it's hotel is actually not on allen street it's just off of allen street across from the ok corral but if you're gonna stay there, parking is a bit rough. You have to find a place on the street and uh, that can be a bit of a challenge, especially when there's a festival going on like there is today. And to be perfectly honest, we didn't have a, a whole plan for this trip. We thought we would come out here and film the Shiflin Days Festival and just see what was going on. But um, it's another thing about this hotel that's really cool. There's only four rooms here. And so if you want to, you can bring some friends, you can rent out the whole place. Last time we were here, we did that and it was very fun. Uh, the owners of the place are pretty cool and uh, it's just a great spot here. You're right on Allen Street, you got a killer view. And uh, if you're staying here, you can have yourself a couple drinks out here, hang out. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold like last time we were here, but we plan on being out here tonight and spending a good amount of time just chilling. And it's a little bit early for dinner right now, but I think tonight we're gonna try a place that we have not tried before. Amazingly enough, Puny John's Barbecue, which is supposed to be really good. And I think we're going to bring it back here and enjoy our meal right here at this table. We are going to go walk around and look at things, but this is such a nice day today in Tombstone. We're just kind of hanging out here on the balcony and uh, enjoying, the, enjoying the view. It's pretty nice. I do like it. And I think they had some vacancy. Um, I think only one of the other rooms was taken tonight, so they're... I think our two rooms left, which I think is kind of rare for a Saturday night, but yeah, I mean, every now and then you might get lucky to be able to book this place uh, on short notice. All right. How you doing, Carter? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> you have a good day. You too.
Well, happy birthday, Alan. Allen Street, as you may be aware, is closed off to vehicles, but you will have a stagecoach coming through from time to time. I better get out of the way. Just a fun place to walk around and look at all the stuff. Even if you're not planning on doing anything, it's just a cool place to walk around. With really cool stuff to see. And it's quite active today. As you can see, there's a good amount of people here. This might be the busiest I've seen it in quite some time. Big Nose Kate Saloon, piece of tombstone history right there. And that place is always packed, especially during a festival like this one. The horse, he's got a little spook there for a second. Crystal Palace, my mistake. T. Miller's is way down there. I was going to say there are some people joining us on the balcony, but that is the restaurant. Our balcony is still empty down there, which is a good sign. It means there's not a whole lot of people staying at the hotel tonight. And that's always nice. Classic car alert. That's not a classic car. That is a Corvette. Mine's newer. But anyway, this is a 1919 Nash found to see some classic cars around Tombstone but this thing is in really good shape and the Tombstone zip line recently opened I have not seen that yet we're gonna look for it wow. that is a sweet looking car today. Oh, the park is jumping today, folks. We got a live band playing some music out here. Some folks dancing, having a good time. Not sure what they have over here. Let's check it out. Some food offerings, uh, some smoked cheese curds. Right around the corner from the OK Corral, there is Wyatt's Hotel. As I mentioned earlier, if you're going to stay there, you got to find parking on the street. Good luck on a day like today. Nothing wrong with Wyatt's Hotel. It's a very nice place to stay, but I like T. Miller's just a little better. There's the Cochise County Courthouse, looking stately and beautiful, as always. It's a little fun fact about Tombstone, there actually was a railway that came through here. Many years ago, I believe it stopped running in the 60s, but there's a little museum over here kind of commemorating the Southern Pacific Railroad, which used to come right through here.
Got a shooting gallery back here. If you want to partake. There's also a miniature golf course. If you want to come play mini golf in Tombstone, you can do that. It appears something is going on down here. I'm not sure what it is. Let's take a look. I've never done mini golf here, but one of these days I'm going to. And if you want to check out this there. event, invite your friends to go check out Cool it's FM Online. Or going on. You can see the pre sure. show and the rodeo. Before we do any event, 30 minutes. So we are walking through the neighborhood back towards the courthouse. Can you imagine living in a place like this with all this history? It would be amazing. That would be amazing. I would love that. Maybe one, one day. day we'll move here. We're working on it, folks. We're working on it. But for now, it seems like we're a little too late for some of the festivities. The donkey races happened at 10 o'clock this morning or something like that. 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, wine tasting sounds fun, but we've got our own drinks chilling back at the hotel. So instead, we're going to go check out the courthouse. A place I have not filmed before. In fact, I've only been inside the courthouse one time before. So it seems like a good time to do it. Let's go check it out. Go check it out. We want to get back to the Huey John's Bay by 4 30 anyway. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. It's non commercial. We don't get paid. Yeah, you want to check out this room first? The good guy. Wyatt Earp's actual razor. That's kind of cool. So in case you're wondering what Shiflin Days is all about, well, this is the guy right here, Ed Shiflin. He was the man who found the silver here in Tombstone, and that's where everything started. So this festival is to... Remember right him. Yeah, <laughs> it's gotta be for like a child. It's gotta be. If, yeah, those people were tiny, that's for sure. There's Ed Shiflin. Wow, so that was an adult's dress. <laughs> we're gonna go check out the gallows. And what you see is not the authentic gallows, but they look very much like the ones that were here. And there were seven men that died here. You see the ones on the top, those are the ones that were involved with uh, the Bisbee robbery. They were the ones who actually committed the robbery. And uh, what was that guy's name? John Heath, I believe? It was the guy who uh, this picture's back there planned really the whole weird. thing out and they broke him out and hung him on a telegraph pole not far from here. He was sentenced to life in prison, but that wasn't good enough. The people took matters into their own hands. But back here behind the courthouse, this is where it all went down. If you were the one falling down, it was not a good day for you. But in all honesty, most of the people that died here uh, pretty much deserved what they got, if you ask me.
justice was served. I'm not familiar with the Haldermans, but I know that Dowd, Kelly, Sample, Howard, and Delaney, they're all buried over in Boot Hill. And if you check out my Boot Hill video, you can see where they are buried. Along with supposedly John Heath. Although it is disputed as to whether or not John Heath is actually buried there, but they do have a tombstone for him as well. I'll put the link to that video in the description if you want to see that. The original gallows burned down in 1912, but they looked just like this. wagon from the 1890s. A bicycle from the 1890s. A little buggy from the 1880s. A bunch of valuable rocks. Relics galore in this room. Wow. All of those buildings are gone. All of them. Stone's first firefighters. This is the actual courtroom. Nice little stove here for warmth. This is the old county sheriff's office. That is a very old desk. Some nice weapons up there. 1882 to 1929. This is where the sheriff spent most of his time. Those are pretty. Well, there you have it, the old courthouse. It's a really cool place to come in. It's $7 a piece to go in there. And once you're in, you can stay inside as long as you want. If you want to look at... Yeah, you can go back inside if you want to. So that's pretty cool. And they have nice bathrooms. They do have nice bathrooms in there. If you're hanging out here and don't have a hotel room, bathrooms in there of course you got to pay seven bucks but you can keep coming back as many times as you want throughout the day <laughs> so that's an extra added bonus but yeah very cool place very historic place the uh old courthouse and i like i said i haven't been in there in quite some time so cool to go check it out again you can see at one time these hills were full of structures and buildings and those are now long gone as you can see here 
We are starting to work up a bit of an appetite, so we're gonna try Puny John's barbecue over here. All the bars are too crowded. Yeah, a lot of places are really crowded, but this doesn't look too bad. And the food is supposed to be really good, so I think we're gonna grab some and take it back to T. Miller's and go from there. an assortment of sauces. We've got wussy, original, sweet and smoky, prickly pear, habanero, and ass of fire. Say no more. I wasn't aware that they had this much space in here. It looks like such a small space from outside, but there's even a outdoor area if you want to eat out there. Looks pretty nice. What's surprising is this place is not packed. So we'll see what the food's like in just a bit. Back at T. Miller's with our Puny John's Barbecue, which we are going to enjoy right here on the balcony, directly across from the Birdcage Theater. But this will be our first chance to see what this food from Puny John's actually looks like. Oh, that smells really good. And that looks really good too. I got the pulled pork with the spicy baked beans and the green beans and ham hock. Which I wasn't exactly sure what that was, but it looks pretty good. What did you get? Um, the brisket sliders, coleslaw, and potato salad. Let's see what it tastes I like. I can't tell who sauce is. Looks who pretty is. good. Okay, so that's why they had so many sauces. They don't put any sauce on it. No, that's why. Luckily, I like it we better. grabbed some before we left. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been a shameful walk back to Puny John's, but <laughs> not that far. I'm not sure. I think this is the. The sweet, sweet? I don't know, I can't tell. I don't know, try we mixed it. them up, but anyway, they both smell pretty good, so I'm gonna try some of that. Slap that down on there like that. I can't see how this is not gonna be good. She's a dog mom. That's really good. I probably have barbecue sauce on my face. This is the only napkin I've got. No, there's some here. Oh, good. I was gonna say we got some problems. There's little pieces of pork in there, I believe. Like the burnt ends, it looks really good. It's good, don't get me wrong. Not what I was expecting. It has almost like a almost kind of tastes like a chocolatey taste almost. But like barbecues, I don't know. That probably doesn't sound very good, but it's good. It's just very different from the barbecue sauce on the sandwich. Oh, it's molasses. Molasses. That's what it is. It's molasses and spices. Oh. The wagon going by. Those green beans might be my favorite thing on this. Which is really surprising even to me. But there's uh, green beans, ham. And I don't, I don't know if it's garlic or onion. It's got like a like a little bit of a kick to it. It's really good. I don't know what it is, but it's real good. All right, so we're back on the balcony now over at T. Miller's. And we're going to hang out here for a little bit until it gets dark. I'm mean, enjoying a nice margarita here. And this is a great place to just hang out and have a drink. But I met some of the other patrons who were staying in the hotel tonight. They asked me if I was the birthday boy. I am not, but apparently uh, Alan from the poster... Uh, downstairs earlier he's staying here tonight and I don't know how many people are in his party but 
apparently, however many it is, they've only got the two rooms and then we've got the one room and then the people we just talked to have the fourth room. So place is booked. It's usually booked every night. here in Tombstone. We uh, went back to the hotel, we watched the Rattlers game, another victory, awesome. And uh, we came over here to the Long Branch, <laughs> Long Branch Hotel, Long Branch Restaurant. Longhorn? Long Branch? Longhorn. Somebody is butchering a Reba McIntyre song. Karaoke night at Duck Holidays. Well, we survived the night here at T. Miller's once again. And it is now about 7 a.m. Tombstone time. Town is very quiet this time of day, which is pretty nice actually, but interesting thing happened. I woke up, or, I don't know, about three o'clock in the morning and our room over here was just filled with a kind of a perfume, like a flowery kind of perfume. Which was really weird because there was no perfume being sprayed at three in the morning, but I had uh, heard people say that they've smelled things like that and you get the perfume smell in places, certain places, and I've never experienced that before, but yeah, last night our room smelled like perfume. It was weird. So we're just gonna hit the town this morning, grab something to eat, and make our way back home to Phoenix. I don't know if we've decided where we're gonna get breakfast yet, but we'll get that figured out here shortly. So I'd heard about this outlaw zip line they installed here as a new attraction, but we didn't actually see it. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but Signs pointing this way. And according to their website, it's a 450 foot long zip line. Now it's 450 feet. And it's the only one in America where you shoot at targets as you go by with a laser gun. Which sounds a little high tech for Tombstone, but People like it, people like it. Down the hill one block, turn left one block. Oh, there it is. Looks like we found the zip line. I guess that's it right there. It just comes down the hill. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there, but apparently there are targets you shoot at with a laser gun as you go down the zip line. Maybe one of these days I'll try it out. For breakfast this morning, we're going back to the Long Longhorn restaurant. I, can, I get that messed up all the time. I wanna say Long Branch. Long Branch is in California. This is the Longhorn restaurant. And, uh, the only reason we're going here today is just because we did the OK Cafe last time and this early in the morning, there's really only two places to grab breakfast that I'm aware of, OK Cafe and the Longhorn. So we're just waiting for them to open up along with some of these folks here. Go ahead and grab some breakfast. And a great breakfast it was. Well, that will just about do it for our Tombstone trip. So from all of us to all of you, from Tombstone, Arizona, we will see you down the road.